you know, people say, oh, well, it'd be, you know, maybe they should you know, be forced to negotiate with the largest party first, and that's one option, but in practice, um, does that change anything? Because people are free to talk at any time. Uh, and uh, so if you made a smaller party negotiate with the largest party first, they might do that in a perfunctory manner, and then, and then say, well, that was too difficult, I'll go off and talk to these guys and maybe come back. Um, so I said, trying to prescribe how this occurs, I think, is, is, is tricky, but no doubt the constitutional lawyers will wrap themselves up in all sorts of excitement for some time trying to work out whether that's something that should happen. But, but you don't think it would make any difference? I just think in a practical sense, it probably doesn't make much difference. I'm prepared to be persuaded, but, but I don't think it necessarily makes, a, makes any big difference because it requires, ultimately, uh, for the parties to get together. And what became apparent is that um, Mr Peters wanted more change um, than he actually let on during the election campaign. Is there any change to the process that you would like to see that, that in your view, would have made it clearer, more transparent? I mean, I mean, that was one of the things, that the public is still in the dark, really, about what was said or the promises made. Do you think they, the public deserve to know more about that process? Well, I think they knew, definitely deserve to know more now. Here we are a few weeks on, uh, and the, the actual, you know, coalition costings and those sorts of things are not known and actually I don't think that's appropriate you know we're talking about running the country here not just the corner shop uh, and I think that information should be out in the public domain uh, and it should be out pretty quickly after a coalition is formed I actually think it's quite um, it's 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 um, uh, quite n almost negligent for that not to be in the public domain yet because you've got even the Reserve Bank and Treasury running around trying to find out what the heck's going on um, and uh, and that level of uncertainty shouldn't uh, shouldn't continue, uh, and there's no need for it to continue. So presumably they did the costings, um, otherwise how would they have got to the point where they made a decision? I'm talking about Labor here um, to go with New Zealand first and the Greens. So it's time we saw those costings.